What's up, Matt fans? Um, in honor of Sweater Fridays, I'm gonna tell a joke, uh, but I'm gonna do it at the end of the, of the video, so I'd rather you uh, learn this first. So, we're gonna talk about angles formed by a tangent and a chord. So here, on top of the circle is a tangent line. Here is a chord that does not necessarily go through the center. Sometimes they'll make it obvious and they'll actually put the center there. Um, but if you don't see it going through a center, don't assume it's a diameter. You don't know that. So even here, it kind of looks like a diameter. Don't assume, you don't know. So just to make it super clear, I'm gonna put the center off the, the line. So it's a tangent and a chord. What do you know about that? Well, even if you don't know anything about that, you do know about it because you've already learned this diagram. You've seen a circle and you've seen an inscribed angle and what do you know about this inscribed angle? It's equal to one half the intercepted arc. I've said this by saying pizza crust. The angle is one half of the pizza crust. So if the pizza crust is 80, the angle would be 40. So you look at the crust, you divide by two. If they give it to you backwards and they say, hey, my angle is, uh, I don't know, 50, then the opposite is true. This would be double, and I would say this is 100. And it's as simple as that. So if you're going from here to here, it's half. If you're going from here to here, it's double. People are used to seeing easy numbers, so it looks so easy. It does get, it does get a little more algebraic and a little more complicated. So to get comfortable with that, you should be comfortable with just looking at it and saying, if my given angle is X, what could I possibly say about the intercepted arc? This guy is gonna be 2X. Don't know the answer, I can't solve for X, I can only represent it algebraically. Same thing backwards. If the arc is X, then the angle would be half of that, so I would say one half X. Or you could even say X over two. All right, now that you're comfortable with that, the rule is the same for an angle that is created by a tangent and a chord. And people like to say, oh look, that's an inscribed angle. It's not, it behaves the same. They're, they're like brothers, but not the same. You don't call it an inscribed angle, it's not. An inscribed angle is formed by two chords. This is formed by one chord and one tangent. But it's the same, it is half the intercepted arc. So your eye has to be strong here, you have to find the intercepted arc. If I'm looking at this angle, I follow the chord to the end, it hits B, it started from A, so that is the intercepted arc. This side, not that side. And they can even put more points along the circle to confuse you, or more lines through the circle to confuse you. Focus, your eye has to focus on where the intercepted arc is. So, if I give you that this is 50 degrees, and they ask you to, oh, excuse me, and they ask you to solve for X, it's like a mind trick, because the X is over there. What do you know about that? I don't know. All I know is that this is double the 50. So I know this is 100. That doesn't address the question. I use my knowledge, I use what I know, now let's try to figure it out. I also know this is a full circle. So wouldn't X be, let me get this out of the way, 360 minus 100, which is 260. So there's a couple of things you have to put together in order to answer a question like this. I see the angle is half, so I know this arc is 100. I know the other side of the arc is 360 minus 100, x equals 260. Now, let's get crazy. This angle is given. So first I'm gonna instinctively look at the intercepted arc. This is double that. So this is, using what we learned from this video, is two times 16x plus four. That's all I know, I'm stuck, wait a minute. I know that this arc and this arc together make a full circle. What do you know about a full circle? 360. So you just build yourself an equation and solve for x. Try it on your own. Uh, I'll do it now. So I got 2 times 16x plus 4 plus 38x plus 2 equals a full circle 360 degrees. So the point of this video is not this part, this part is what you use, or uh, what you figure out later. The point of this video is just for you to understand whatever that angle is, the arc is double. All right, now we just do some fancy algebra to remind you of last year. What is this, 32x plus eight plus 38x plus two equals 360. Um, 
I'm going to combine like terms at the same time. So that's going to give me uh, 70x plus 10 equals 360. Subtract 10 on both sides. You're going to get 70x equals 350. Divide by 70 on both sides. And whatever your calculator tells you is the answer. Uh, let's see. 7 goes into 35 five times. So I'm going to go with x equals 5. Okay? And then it depends on the question if you're taking a test. Sometimes the question will say solve for x, so you're done. If the question says find the given angle, find the angle formed by the tangent and the chord, then I would have to take my 5 and plug it in here, 16 times 5 plus 4. So read the question carefully. First do what you know, then answer the question. All right? Um, so here's the joke. It's more of a social commentary, I think. Certain things bother students, so rather than cry about it, one of my students made a joke. Uh, we were watching this uh, comedian. The comedian was doing voices, a lot of imitation voices. So the kid goes, hey, I can do a voice too, or I can do an imitation too. He says, I'm going to imitate my father. Watch. <laughs>